กรีนหนึ่งเอาไว้ยุ่ ไอ้ไพ่ฟ่ายมันอิสกูดทูฟ่ายนัลลี่ทอล์กตัวยูโนอัฟเตอร์ลิสต์ทูออลยูอาร์วิดีโอส์เนี่ยพอเดอะลาสต์วันเล
one or two hours of entry of mock test or something. So that was how it was going. Yeah. Did you give all the mock papers that I had provided, or did you skip? Yes, ma'am. Like, no, I I actually finished everything in the portal. Uh, for uh, CUET, uh, for gate I couldn't complete everything. Uh, there were a few papers I couldn't finish, but like. For for CUET, whatever content was there on your portal, and then I even had to purchase a few more mocks because I was not too confident about my preparation. So, uh, so, so yeah, I finished everything on your portal for. Okay, so all the mocks you gave for I. All the mocks, yeah, they were. The mocks. Yeah, for IT Jam as well. I think for IT Jam, the mocks were very well prepared, and uh, and for CUET as well. Like I think the level of preparation I got preparing for CUET and IIT for your mocks was. What I was, what I needed actually at that point in time, you know, I, I may not have performed well in all of them, but it was like, oh, I have to push myself a bit more because this is not how it's gonna work. So, yeah. yes. So this time, you know, all the exams were unpredicted. Even IIT, I would yeah. say, not to not the level what usually comes in exam. Yeah, actually, was yeah. unpredicted. So, you know, what do you suggest students? When a lot of times you see that the first exam, like for for example, IAT or something is unpredicted and, you know, it is very different from what it came last year. How do you, you know, up your game? How do you ensure that you still don't get demotivated and you keep preparing for the upcoming exams also? Actually, this, I had this proposition with my juniors as well, like this year, because they were like, oh, yeah, you prepared so much for CUET and then the kind of paper you got. Okay, so it means that there is no point for us in preparing as well because, you know, who knows what kind of paper we'll get next year. So I was like, it's not the case, you know. Granted, we were like, ha, CUET will be not that difficult, you know, it's we can be a bit chill about it and all. But now, seeing our experience, you know that, yeah, it can be both of them. So you, you are mentally prepared for it. Like, we were not at all prepared for it. I, uh, the experience we had after the exam got over was something different. So, and for gate and jam as well, like, I was... Not that confident. I was like, okay, I'll give it. But my main focus is on CUET. Uh, I'll, I'll like jam and gate. I have to give because midway I realized, oh, it's getting too much. I might not be able to do well in that. But uh, you know, the paper was not that difficult. So, so it's like be prepared for the worst, and then if you're prepared for the worst, you can handle anything that that is that is coming your way. So I would say that you, more or less. We need to keep preparation level the same for all three papers now because you don't know what kind of paper you will get. CUET was tougher than Jam and Gate this time around, which is not what I would, I would have been saying when I began my preparation. So just be prepared for the worst. Uh, do cover everything for all of these exams. Treat them equally. And I think that will help uh, you know you to tackle all of them properly. Right. So, Tarun, you know what happens is still there are many students who only aim one exam. Like they're only aiming IIT or only CUET. And I tell them that just giving one exam is, it's like winning a lottery. If you get, you get, you don't get. I mean, yeah. taking too much risk. So what do you suggest? Yeah. Like, should one be just preparing, be centric on one exam or should they be appearing for all possible exams? No, uh, yeah. So I have heard people say that uh, you know, instead of focusing or putting all our eggs in one basket, you know, you know, focusing on all these exams together, we can focus on one exam, focus our energy on one thing, so we can increase our surety for clearing that exam. But I don't think that's true, uh, because uh, like in exams like J Gate, Jam, and uh, CUET, when they when the syllabuses are so overlapping, it is better if you you know give all of them because if someone would have skipped uh, Jam or Gate this year thinking that it's too difficult. I'll only focus on CUET. They would have missed out on a very big opportunity. Like uh, most of them, like I, I heard a lot of people and they were like, why gate is too difficult. I think this time around I'll skip gate. I won't even get my admit card printed. You know, I, I failed the form. It was some cost fallacy and that's why they had to give the paper. But they also got very good ranks and, you know, they will get PhD somewhere around, uh, you know, through this course. And similarly, if someone was like only, okay, I'll prepare for CUET itself. So the kind of... Uh, Exam we got this time around, it got a bit of shocker for him. So it's better if you don't take that risk, see what kind of paper you're expecting, prepare for everything, at least attempt the paper, you know, based on your preparation for one exam, it's more or less the same. So you, you can expect a good result in any one of them. So attempting all papers and giving up papers is very important, I would say. I know some of the very intelligent students uh, who did not make through CUET because it was so, un and they had only appeared for CUET. Yeah, and exactly. 
going and giving MSc exam. So it it I mean I know if they would have given IIT they would have cleared it, but yeah, they exactly for it. That was a mistake yeah. that was there. Yeah. So, so Tarun, one last question I have. So, what do you suggest? By when should student be completing their syllabus? How much time for revision? How much time for mock test? What should be the strategy that they should be following? Uh, so, I can tell you my own experience in this. Uh, so, uh, I think we gave enough. I gave enough time to microeconomics initially, like uh, from June to I think October. I finished all the advanced lectures of microeconomics on the portal. Plus, I had a bit of good command in microeconomics throughout my first two years as well. It is macro where I was lacking, so I was likely I have to give some time to macro as well. So I think the initial three four months I focused on micro and mathematics simultaneously, and because mathematics is not that difficult, you can focus on both of them together. And then throughout like November, I stopped preparing because my exams were there, and then. Then December, January, I finished my my macroeconomics, whatever was left left off for international public finance, everything. So I think uh, six months is uh, five months is enough for you to finish all the syllabus, and then the next uh, one one and a half months just keep revising and give mock papers, uh, and then for CUET you have got three months after that as well. So. For, for since you have prepared for jam and get so well, you have revised all the notes. You can only focus on giving uh, a mock test. You know, if you have any additional points you're learning from this mock test, just make a copy of it. Like I used to, any extra information I used to get from any paper I gave, I used to make a copy and write it down. And so just keep on revising those new points and you know those old like notes as well. So five months of preparation, making not all the notes, one month of revision, one month of giving mock tests and if you have some extra time then you know just revise 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 as much as you can you know that's very important and by the end of it like when the last 15 days are left i would say don't get anything new in your mind whatever you already have just you know freshen that up revise that up and that will only help you further right yeah that's true no new information in the last few days that is yeah. what I also suggest so, yeah. so tarun what are your future plans now <laughs> what do you intend uh, okay so, so like uh, after I begin my master's, I'll probably see the first three four months. How is the you know culture in that college? So, what kind of like the teachers? What do they recommend? What the students have been doing in that college beforehand? Is it successful? What kind of, what kind of placements are there? Personally, I don't want to go to corporate. I don't think that life is for me. Uh, so I I will try to appear for government exams post that in economics itself, like RBI, grade B and uh, IES and everything. So I'll be taking up coaching for that in my second semester, I guess, after my master's begins. Uh, but yeah, I'll give the first semester to myself. Like I talked to Sir as well. He was like, he, you know, just give one semester to yourself, figure it out, figure out what is happening. But for now, and I think it will be the case, but my aim is to get into the government services in the economic sphere as well, get into policy making, get into RBI and NABARD or like the government itself. So that's, that a, so that's, that's an excellent one. If at all you want to go there, I would also suggest to, you know, apply for internships at Niti Aayog or Finance Commission. Yes, that would be a good mm -hmm. way to get into it and understand the culture there and understand how policy making takes place. Because yes, the culture at Niti Aayog is excellent. So, you know, just apply there. They, they they get you know they give you a lot of internship opportunities or finance commission or ministries and just get a hang of it just understand what the culture is that will also help you I've actually been trying to apply for niti Aayog for the last like four semesters every time like summer internships times come i'm like okay i'll apply for niti Aayog, but i'm not able to get uh, you know internships there but now that you're doing masters um, they will take you yeah, know i'll have a better chance yeah. yes it will be easy. also um I had a student named Ahana. I'd also, you know, posted her interview. She's now an IES officer. Um, oh. She did her uh, mas master's from um, uh, IAFT Kolkata. While right. preparing for IE. I mean, first she gave IAS economics optional. And then, uh, you know, somehow she got disheartened. So she uh, went for master's. And then she cleared Indian economic service exam. I think ranked three or four. 
she also uh, had uh, done her internships and jobs simultaneously in policy making so probably i'll ask her also just connect with me and i'll tell you where exactly she applied and how she applied you can apply there as well that would be great now thank you so much for that okay sure okay thank you so much tarun for your time today i hope yeah. that you know thank it you ma'am the my pleasure yeah. anything you, so you would want to you know add or we can end the session <laughs> no, no, like uh, i was like you know when i was you know preparing as well i was like if i clear one exam no i will i'll be so thankful to earth point because and i have been doing it for for my juniors as well you know anybody who's asking me how to prepare it's like one i think earth point is more than enough for uh, for any exam for economics if you want to give so in fact you know it helped me clear my own concepts for economics even if i wouldn't have cleared any entrance exam i would have you know got in a better hang of my own subject that i have been studying um, so thank you so much for that i have you know i just want to say that i'm very very grateful to everyone for for yes, this sir. thank you yes. thank you for your thank time you. okay take care and keep us thank informed you. wherever you are in life just keep me informed yes. definitely ma'am definitely thank you so much thank you bye good day